Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and we have a deck that I featured a little yesterday to test out, and it's something I'm still working on. It is a Mardu Fires list uh, for best of one. Um, so what we're trying to do with this particular deck is resource denial of your opponent and painful effects, hence the painful fires connotation. Um, the way we do that is, so Fires of Invention, namesake card, play two spells during your turn without paying their mana cost. Um, so what we're trying to do is use cards like Kroxa's ability to discard as well as deal damage. Uh, Davriel uh, upkeep trigger uh, is going to deal damage if they don't have critical mass cards in hand. Underworld Dreams, when they draw cards, they take damage. Uh, Theater of Horrors, we can use the extra mana each turn from Fires to deal a damage to Planeswalker or Creature. Also unlocks cards in, that it gives us card advantage. Uh, Bone Crusher Dam Di uh, Giant can be direct damage. Chandra's Emblem can be damaged as well. And then we have kind of the backup plan with um, the creature half of Bone Crusher, Crocs attacking in, and then Cavalier Flames to sort through our hand and also just be a hasty threat. Um, so piece together, we have removal in the form of Kaya's Wrath, Clarion, the Devil, and an Eat to Extinction for the Exile effect. Um, and then a couple uh, Elspeth Conquers Death, Exile's opponent's permanence, as well as bring back any of our threats. Um, and then the mana base, pretty simple. We got some Fabled Passages, a bunch of duels, and then I want to try out one Black Castle as an additional mana sink. I was considering Kenrith in this deck, just for the reanimation effect in the life gain, but opted to go with the Cavaliers, just as we get the card advantage in this color. Um, so it's a way to kind of play out like that. Um, so we're going to try this out for best of one. This is probably too cute. Uh, Davriel was fine in the matches that we played it. Uh, but this was might be a little too cute with uh, it used to be really good but or like in the first week or so before Elspeth Conquer's death came around and now this is usually just the target it's pretty easy for blue white to remove this uh, but we'll try it for best of one may just opt to go for more removal or uh, I was looking at other planeswalkers potentially to add in maybe Kaya can come in uh, or a Liliana or an Ugin but we'll run it through some matches and see how it goes currently at plat 4 so let's play some ranked matches see how it goes so as always if you enjoy the content can't catch it live everything I do play live on the channel is uh, updated to YouTube shortly after um, so if you do enjoy it and you can drop a sub or a like um, those are both free and easy ways to help out the channel and then subsequently if you do want to know when we go live and you want to catch on Twitch you can always drop a follow there, it's free as well to do so. Those are all ways to help out the channel. Um, so here we just really want to hit a land. We have two discard effects here. Okay, so this can be either ramp or flash. Hoping it's not flash. Just because uh, typically fires decks do have an issue against the counterspell based decks. Okay, so it's Bant. So it might be the Crokey's Bant, an older version with Paradise Druid. Typically they don't play um, Paradise Druid in these newer ones. They play Uro. Okay, so they have Tef. Our hand's not really doing much right now. So I'm going to make them make the decision on what to discard prior. Uh, to doing Tef. Get the value there. So I really want an untapped lion so I can fire. Missing the land hurts. We did keep three lions and then <laughs> lost it there. Of course it is... I'm going to keep this. It's another answer to Teferi. So I'm going to hold this off. Opponent did look like they missed the line drop. Because they did Growth Spiral. That got them ahead of a line. So the discards did take two lines out of their hand. So we'll see here if they Teferi bounce Bone Crusher. That's fine for us. And they've also used three Teferis now, so 
they're less likely to have a way to bounce this. Now they can have an Elspeth Conquer's death. If they do, we have backup. Clarion's also a nice answer to sweep up these tokens. So a little punished keeping Davriel around. We don't get the the exile. We do get to draw a card here, which is nice. Um, I think we just Bone Crusher. Actually, since we're gonna do this anyways, let's see what we draw in case we draw like Cavalier or something. Let's see, and that's where it pays off because now we can bedevil this. They do have enough to explore back. I if I draw a land here, it'd be good because I can plus Chandra before they cast Uro from uh, flashback, and then I can have enough loyalty to exile it on return. I will trade with their land if they attack in. Perfect. So don't want that. Also not enough in the graveyard yet. So we'll start putting a clock on them with Chandra. I think here we just play out Bone Crusher like this and because if they play another Nisa I think that's fine. We'll attack in here. I can block one of their lines. Chandra still have enough. It's more likely than not to be Conquer's Death. And then I can draw another card here. This also puts more cards into the graveyard for Croxa. Okay, they have Cavalier. Okay, so they mill Kenrith and Conquer's Death. Right, that might be enough to get us there. So let's hold off on this. Let's Cavalier. Because I can get back Croxa as well. Ooh, that's nice. So I think we just do Conquer's Death this turn on the Cavalier. Plus Chandra. And then get a couple activations here and then smash in for a lot. Next turn I can Crocs that back and if they don't deal with Cavalier. But also they're on a limited clock just with the Chandra emblems going off. Sweet. Well that worked out. <laughs> I like when it works the way it's intended to. Cavalier was a nice addition that I think we lacked in the first few test games. So we'll run it through a few, see how it goes. So in that matchup there, they did have the triple Teferi, but they likely just bounce if we had Underworld Dreams there, so not the best indication. This hand doesn't do much. This hand does a bit more. It's probably going to put back a Conqueror's Death. Going to lead with the Temple of Silence. And what we're looking for here is, depending on the matchup, if it's an aggressive deck, we want a sweeper. If not, I want fires. Okay, so that's good because against this shows it's either gruel or mono red. And both times... Okay, opponent's hand was very... They kept the double castle embreath. Uh, I'm just going to get Theater of Horrors going here. It can put some cards under there so later on if we draw Fires it's better. And then I'll probably Cavalier after this turn. Take some off two things here. 
and then if they drop like annex down then I can um, deal with that actually so the question is do we wait one more turn because this next turn is likely them doing robber bridges which I would want to deal with the clarion but the problem is then this gets a little crazy so I think we just do this I need seven mana in a turn to deal with uh, unlocking this clarion would have really liked to draw it actually so they can stomp and robber me here nice thing is they don't get a card off the top okay get my croxa under there as well so i think what we do is just tap like tap land go activate theater of horrors next turn i can theater and croxa if need be they drop something bigger I can also play that here they will be able to get something off top hands been quite awkward we're in the mind of the bedevil So just deal a damage to them. Hey, that's perfect. That was perfect. So we'll fake like we have something potentially. Torbrand's fine, it gets hit by Conqueror's death. Uh, I got a lot of black, probably want some more red, just for Cavalier. No, no, no! Fuck. Ah! It wasn't supposed to do that. I wanted to see what was underneath, and instead it decided to do that, which was not what I wanted to do. You're supposed to conquer Seth that turn. Oh, we did get rid of an Ember Cleave, so. Maybe they think Davriel's a threat. Ah, this is gonna deal extra damage to us now. They deal eight to us, and now I don't have an answer to this. Ah, that's so awful. And now I'm dead. Oh, what a stupid way. Hey, Quantum. Just punted from uh, Misclick. They got me with the Robert. Damn it. Okay, so for note, don't click on Theater of Horrors. Click on the cards underneath it. Probably should have had that one because we wouldn't have taken as much damage. We save three, four, five, six, seven damage that turn by not pinging there. And then we would have been able to clean up nicer. Okay, because we keep. Really want to see fires. We do have a Kai's Wrath if need be. Forgot my phone on. So many spam calls lately. Want untapped line here so I can Davriel on two or on the next turn. Right now, 
Fable Passage doesn't untap. Perfect. So this can be either Teamer Wreck or Adventure. Fires. Okay. Oh, this is Niv Fires. So we'll do this. Probably the devil here, just because I can deal with the creatures coming down. What do they discard? Temple Garden. So this is five color Niv. So I'm going to Kaya's Wrath or Conquer's Death it. Keeping them off fires kind of messes up with their ability to. I guess we have the other planes in hand. Play out multiple spells per turn. It also slows down Niv. Because uh, we have Conquer's Death, I'm going to force them to discard here. Because I can get it back, the Davriel back. Casualties of War is something nice to get out of their hand. Okay, so they had backup fires. They've had triple fires in their opener. Yep. This is the part where they draw oodles of cards. They also are playing four casualties main. Okay. And we have drawn nothing. Uh... What do I have in the graveyard? Not enough for Croxa. Yeah, that's probably fine because I'm going to put one of these Kai's Wraths in there. Yeah, the easy casualties. So it's not the most value casualties, but they might do it just to get Davriel off. Because you don't really want it to fairy bounce this. They can crisis, but it's not really much utility there. Okay, they're gonna do that. Is that that allows me to? No, I'm short some mana. So I do have to discard here. We do Clarion, play out a second red source. So Crocs is coming back next turn. Trust me, I have a plan. Probably still dead because these decks just draw nothing but Niv Mizzets. So this deck's been very good when we draw fires and awful when we don't. Not the best flip, but mind you, this can bounce our Croxa after we escape it. I'm gonna wipe their <coughs> board again. That's something. It puts a clock on them, but I think we just board wipe here. See if they just cycle to fairies. Get a growth spiral. Interesting. Is that a crisis? Yeah. X6. So we're not. This would have been a good Underworld Dreams matchup where we just would be able to deal a whole bunch to them. I okay, so I'll play out this line, but I think after this I'm going to hold off lands in case we draw a red cavalier.
Okay, so we have one more Kaya's Wrath. We still have one more card to play for the turn. Yeah, and it's Uro. So unless it's Kaya's Wrath, we're basically dead. The gre the fire the deck that drew three fires bet the deck that drew new fi no fires in the fires mirror. Okay, so they're disregarding. They're just going to go for lethal. It's not a bad approach necessarily. Because like Chandra's, yeah, we're dead here. Chandra's not going to get us there. I hate playing against that deck. They just always have turn five Niv, draw a million cards, and then whenever they're down to one last card. Also, just them having casualties is going to beat us every time. Like, their multi-removal spell. So even, like, if we kill Davriel that... Like we didn't kill Davriel to force the other card out. It's just, like, they had three fires and probably their top ten cards. Um, I'm going to try this one out because I do have Croxon to be Devil. I would like to draw fires. We see temple. Grixis. Well, this is likely bye bye to Croxa. Stop it, Abby. So it's not the worst because it just takes it takes our turn to play off. And then we don't get to force him to discard something. But it does leave our heavy hitters. So they have Cry Carnarium out, which doesn't really do much against our deck. So I'm going to get my second red source. So I'm going to play the Temple just to scry to try to find something better. It does give away a little bit of information, but probably still worth it. Um, I really care about Nico Bolas. So I'm just going to get some white mana and tapped and say go. Okay, so they missed on this point. Um, I think I might just do Davriel here and then follow it up with Chandra. Like Cavalier, I want to be able to activate it with haste. We can't play around Mystical Dispute anyways, so this gets rid of some of the action in their hand. And I'm not going to show the other planes to make it seem as though... I might be missing the double white here. They keep that on top, so it's likely a land. Do you have another Croxa? Get rid of Ritual. I'm just going to start putting an emblem on them. They can kill it with the devil. Like anything other than eat for extinction, I'm fine because I could get it back with Conqueror's Death. We only have two cards in the. Well, one really for this. Sure, I got gas otherwise. Cavalier is an interesting one because like, I can get it back with this. So let's put an emblem on them. I don't think I'm going to discard here yet. I'm just going to get Croxa going. OK, 
test net. Okay. So they're gonna take two on upkeep. If we can get one more, it really speeds up the clock, even if they drop like Nico Bolas. I wonder what they kept on top if it wasn't a land. I think if they put Bolas down, I just hold off and then Conquer's death it. Conquer's death at least puts me on a clock to get it back. Wait, like get the Chandra back after. That's fine. So Chandra will come back in two turns, play out the land and just say go. We haven't really drawn our like cycling cards. I might just, if we don't draw anything, just play Clarion just to get into our graveyard for Croxa. And the closer they get to emptying their hand, the better it is for us. Okay, so they have Ashiok. It's fine, that'll be bedeviled. Actually, that lets us play Clarion as well. Yeah, white got a lot better. Uh, I want to see what's on top before... Do I want fires at this point? Croxa could come back. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, sure. I'll keep fires. It makes my subsequent plays better. And then I get to put another emblem on them with Chandra. Technically, Cavalier wins the game on the spot, but it's more susceptible to removal where Chandra is just a guaranteed win. So I feel a little bit safer going with Chandra here. They pay full for six mana, they go granted. So this is likely a, a Grixis Fires deck. Minus the fires. Yep. Opponent basically realizes they're dead. They're tapped out. Now I get Cavalier and I win. Let me just give this a quick reset. Noticing a little bit of a leg. And then we'll fire it up again. Play one more game. And then I'll switch up decks, play something else. I gotta find a list to play after this. I can try black white control, but it's usually a little too grindy. Can do. I haven't played. Maybe black white life gain. Haven't tried that in a while. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. We got removal. So for a non land card, it's probably fine, but what we do want is land. Okay. Looks like we are playing against four color Niv, or five color Niv, the old Blood Crypt into Hallowed Fountain. We do need some lands, and we're not going to get those lands. So we're probably dead. Sound was pretty gas if we drew into lands.
This might be four color fires, like Grixis fires. They sometimes will play white for uh, Teferi. If we don't draw a line this turn, I'm just going to concede. And then we'll fire up a another one. Yeah, so it's uh, the four color fires deck. Niv fires wouldn't play Drawn from Dreams. Niv Mizzet is a better Drawn from Dreams. Holy, we drew land. So I'll just hold off here, depending what they play. I could stomp. Their mana is very bad for a Nicol Bolas, but they might have just drawn fires here. If we didn't draw like a tap land, then I would have played Theater of Horrors to start getting this going for the fires of invention. Okay, they go granted. This could be casualties of war, can be, I doubt they keep the, f they go Chandra. Yeah, it's just a bunch of little grindy elements. In case we don't draw land, I'm gonna just bone crusher here, so. Hey, we drew a land. So I'm going to get Theater of Horrors down just because it can draw us an extra land. And then next turn I could double Bone Crusher. If not, what I can do is if I naturally draw a land, I can... Ew. You're not supposed to play that. Well, this hand got a lot worse. Want to try to find the fires? So Clarions just on lifelink might not be bad. We also have our own Chandra that can put an uptick on them. I'm going to attack into Chandra here. point so I can Chandra them and then the following turn Cavalier because they would have to negative eight their Chandra to negative my Chandra and then with the emblem it turns on this so that I'm guaranteed the the mana to be able to cast Cavalier and activate it that turn. They can Labyrinth. That is very ambitious. Let's play four colors and also play Labyrinth. Is this Jeskai Fire Splash Black for Kenrith? All right. That's an odd one to take. Aww, like a so untapped land gets us Cavalier. So let me make them untap here or like tap down. So I can do this and play out Bone Crusher. That would make them use Chandra's down tick. They're taking three per turn now minimum. If they draw cards, it's more. If they don't do that, then I can use these Clarions to gain life. My guess is they just sweep the board. This does let me minus seven on Chandra to exile it, and then I'm a one ahead in the life lane. Oh, okay. Change of plan. We double Clarion. Okay, cool. 
Then we have Cavalier for the following turn with haste. So it's minus seven this. And then we'll just get rid of it like that. So we're a point ahead on the race. Depending on what we draw, we can also bin it with Cavalier. They play with Fires, so it's a four color Fires. They play Teferi. So what I can do here is play this, play out Underworld Dreams this turn, and then Cavalier the following turn. I don't care about Teferi, I'm going to put another emblem on them, and then we should be able to close this out pretty quick. A Cavalier of their own wins it for them, but outside of that we have them. So they Fae of Wishes, Plain Wide Celebration gains them a ton of life. That gains them 16 life. They get back Dream Trawler. They might have just out janked us. So the problem is with this, it taps down our creature. Just want to make sure our next draw is good. Croxa is good. Croxa is very good. So let's just put on another emblem. Just attack in. Like obviously they're gonna do this, but make them do that. Okay, they take five for this turn. Might be able to jank them. Croxa deals three with the discard potentially. They get to discard twice. Forces cards out of their hand that way. Cavalier. Cavalier does three damage to them. It's a non zero. So that does help a bit in the math. We also currently only have one land in the graveyard. Can they go trawler? The only thing is I can't give it haste. So I have red, red. Oh no, I do. I have enough. I can do it. So Croxa for zero. The first half we don't have to pay, the second half we do. So then we go escape Croxa. No, don't auto pay. I want my double red mana. So I'm going to keep the land just because if this dies, it gets better. Gets rid of something else. I'm going to minus five. 
and exile this so that way they have one fewer blocker. I think we might just be able to get through this one. This actually uh, pulled its weight this game. So in a single turn we managed to make them discard three cards. Oh, and one was a time wipe too. So they're forced to block, otherwise they're dead. And they can untap this one. But they're taking five here. And like a Conqueror's Death doesn't quite do it. They don't have enough cards to wish back the Fey. They can bounce something. So they bounce back Kroxa. So that does reset Kroxa, but we get to force them to discard. <laughs> Draws them a card so they take damage and we got them. Sweet, sweet, sweet. This deck's actually like pretty gas. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap this particular one up. Um, I'll have the videos up on YouTube uh, shortly, in the next day or so. Um, so this is the final list. Pretty much liked a lot of it. Um, I'll come back, I could probably do another stream in a bit, probably in like around 8 Eastern tonight. I gotta figure out what deck to play, so if anybody has any suggestions in the meantime, if you wanna shoot me a message on YouTube or Twitter or anything, uh, deck list that you find interesting I'll, I'll play it with that um, and then we'll go from there anyways thanks for tuning in if i don't see you later have a great one